six power uh, because we're going to go into a little plantation now. Try a bit of calling. It's early afternoon, about 24 degrees. And it's a bit windy than I wanted it to be, but uh, and I've got a nice book here, really tall antlered book that we've had on camera. Uh, it's right on my boundary, so uh, hopefully I'm going to try and get him this rut move. The local woodland's been sold off and they're going to put some uh, uh, holiday lodges in there, so uh, I think it's going to uh, change the dynamics of the deer population quite a bit, so uh, I'm actually taking most things I can along this boundary, so uh, anyway, let's go and see what we can do. This morning and um, the sun's come out, humidity's up. So if there was ever a textbook afternoon for calling, early August, this is it. Fingers crossed we're gonna try and call in. First of all, I'm gonna have a look. Unfortunately, the Munchak book is a byproduct of uh, <laughs> robot calling in the summer. And uh, as we turned to move, because the book I'm hopefully calling in uh, didn't come, uh, as we turned, there was a Munchak book, nice Munchak book, about 15 metres behind us in the bottom of the hedge, looking straight at us. We had actually come to the call. Uh, of course, as soon as we moved, that's alerted him, and off he's gone. And. Uh, I was just trying to follow him in my scope to see if he was clean and if he was a shootable bug. But uh, unfortunately, he sculpted away without me being able to get a, uh, a clean shot at him uh, through the uh, plantation foliage. So I'm going to go out onto the edge of the field. I've got a game plot here. Hopefully, we're going to pick up the bug there. Blank. I honestly think it's a bit too warm. Still, we'll persevere.
the grass is thrashing around, so I'm presuming he's down. Whew. I'll be after this book for a while. Wolves of England. We've been out all afternoon. Um, I've just got back from South Africa. It's the 7th of August and um, I've been seeing on all the social media that the rut's been in full swing and I uh, hope to catch the back end of it myself. Um, been out this afternoon, tried calling. Uh, it's been very warm, 24 degrees, so I've had very little success apart from a very good munch out of book um, in one of my plantations. But uh, just came over to look for this book. I saw him probably about a month ago um, with his doe um, when I was out with uh, Mickey Davis for a book and um, couldn't get a shot at it. And uh, he's just on a field of wheat that's just due to be cut any time uh, on the edge of a big wood and a small plantation. And uh, he was with the doe and the doe scarpered and uh, he just stopped where he was, but he was really nervous. And I tried a couple of calls and he wasn't happy with that at all. That made him more nervous. So he started moving away and he was leaving the field behind me to come into this field. And then normally his, his territory is straight back to the big wood. And uh, I uh, just managed to get, um, get him, barked him and he just turned and presented the next shot. So uh, 140 metres, I'm very happy. He uh, honoured the SST, did the job and uh, got a nice book for the bag. So uh, that's my uh, rut time row book. Uh, we've got about another hour left before it's dark, so we'll uh, get this back to the car and then um, quickly cleaned out and I'll try and get another book. Well, we've just dragged it back to the car and we're about to load it up, but uh, I thought you might like to know what I'm shooting. I'm using an RX Helix. Uh, this is another one I'm trying at the moment with the uh, Sporter thumbhole stock. It's a 308, my favourite calibre. Uh, and it's packing a Leica uh, 3 to 12 ERI scope, which I'm also thrilled to bits with. Um, having this quality kit really gives me the confidence to take those shots that perhaps other people wouldn't normally take. Uh, and that was a 140 metre neck shot, um, last chance as he walked into the next field. Um, so I've had it for what four months, done quite a bit of practice on the range with it and I'm very confident with it now and the uh, 150 green S SST bullet did the job really well as ever. Okay I'm going to get it in the truck and off we'll go. Just a minute, not yet, not yet. Just a minute. Yeah. yeah, when you're ready and he's broadside on. Just a minute, he's coming out, he's coming out. He's coming out. Yeah. Shot, mate. Great shot. Oh. <laughs> Just a minute. He's down, isn't he? 152 metres. I don't think I've ever experienced that much book fever in my life. <laughs> my heart is racing. <laughs> That's why I told you to breathe out Hold your breath and squeeze the trigger. I've just saw his head and I've seen how he Fantastic book, Dan, that. Really, really pleased. That's a massive book. Oh Metal class book, I think. So let's go down and see what we've got. 
<laughs> so Dan the cameraman becomes Dan the trophy hunter. This could be expensive for me. <laughs> oh, there you incredible. Go. Look incredible at that. Incredible head. Well done, Dan. <sighs> I've never had that much book fever in my life. <laughs> I, just had to I think I would have had book fever at that. Most of my clients get book fever when you put something like that in front of it. Look at that. That is a big metal class book. 140 metres. Thank you so much. Shot off a bale. Dan's about to disappear to Belgium for a year on an intern <coughs> with their um, rifle manufacturer. And uh, so I'm not going to see much of him. Well, as you've just seen on the film, Dan has just shot this book. And what's really great about this book is we've known this book for three or four years. And uh, he's a book of maybe six, seven years old. And uh, he's losing all his weight now, although he's, he's still throwing a great, lovely six. His, his coronets are right down onto his head. You see that? You can see how grey he is. Um, but he's losing all his weight in here. It's all coming down onto the head here. So it's a good one for us to take. Um, we don't come over on this ground very often, a um, couple of times a year. Um, but we had the cameras out, we've seen what we've got. And um, yeah, I was really pleased for our Daniel that uh, he shot such a fantastic book in the rut of 2015. Well done, Dan. Got to drag him back up the field, get him grollocked, and then uh, get ourselves home for a pint.